9-11 speedster and I'm very pleased to say that I've got Andreas Preninger who is Mr. Porsche GT man alongside me to, uh, well first of all welcome to the stand and can you explain a little bit more to start with about this car before I explore the, uh, the rest of your talents? Well yes, um, I mean it's a, it's a speedster, everybody sees that, I think it's uh, the most uh, historic car we can we can bring here in our 70th birthday it has to be a speedster because it was the number one Porsche that one was a speedster as well so we mimicked the color scheme of that car it was the first one 70 years ago and um, underneath the bonnet or underneath the, 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 the outer shell it's Brook GT technology so uh, you could put it like a, it's a 911R without a roof so uh, it's very puristic very, very analog as a manual transmission, as a matter of fact, and as a GT engine, it revs up to 9,000 RPM. Um, it's 510 horsepower, as we have it here, and um, it doesn't have a roof. It doesn't need one because there's always sun in England. Um, you so just wait. <laughs> only liquid sunshine sometimes. Yeah. And um, it's a it's a it's a basic car for enthusiasts. It's a, an analog car. It's puristic. It's uh, maybe not a track car, you can track it because it's got all the components from a GT3 and GT3 RS on the chassis and suspension, but it's mainly to use and enjoy it on an open road and uh, just drive for the sake of driving. A um, man after my own heart and a car after my own heart. They're, they're limited edition numbers, aren't they, for the speedster? Um, we are, didn't take the decision yet to really build that. This is a concept study that we uh, gave us as a present for our own 70th birthday in the company. And, um, but we were curious how the markets and the, and the customers would react on that thing, so we don't rule it out that uh, eventually we're gonna, they're going to be a, a, a serious production of this car. Uh, but this decision will be made by the board later that year, so we'll let you know in time. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> and now also you've been responsible for pretty much all the GT cars of late, the GT3, GT2 RS, and the Cayman GT4, which I own, so thank you very much indeed for making something so beautiful. What has been um, the most challenging parts of making any of those cars? Wow, this is, uh, this is a difficult question because it gets more challenging with rules and uh, legislation every year. So like 10 years ago, we, could, we had a lot more freedom in development. Now we have the handcuffs and cuffs on the feet and everything. And still, um, we're, we're trying to better the product, make it faster, make it more um, entertaining than the predecessor, which is a hard job, which uh, calls for a lot of creativity. Uh, a lot of people with uh, experience, especially in that in that field, but uh, my team, we have a very low fluctuation in Porsche Motorsport, so most of my team has been there for more than 10 years. So, um, so we, lessons learned, works properly. Um, it's, it's always difficult. I mean, there's a variety of, of things. The production, production side, is, is, uh, we only have one production line in Zuckenhausen, and all the cars go over the same production line, so we have to take care about logistics, we can't change everything we want because uh, we don't have a manufacturing process, it's in the production line. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, we always uh, brought out a good product and uh, needed or exceeded all the expectations and that's our driving factor. What is your favorite car that you've signed off? If you would have three children, and I was ask you, what is your favorite child? Depends on the day. I mean, it, yeah, exactly, depends on the mood, so I'm in a lucky position to have a uh, variety of uh, car keys in my office so I can choose and I, and I tell you it's, it's, a, it's a matter of mood. If I have to go for a long stretch of Autobahn at night after a long working day I might take the GT2 RS because it's so effortless and uh, you get so much torque. It's, 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 uh, it's just a rocket for the Autobahn. Yeah. But if I want to play a little and if I'm fresh and uh, wanna, there's some Winding country roads or even track, I'll take a GT3 manual maybe, but it it's really depends on the mood you're in. I think you should own all of the cars, then yeah, would be the best thing. Yeah, totally. And is there anything that you want to design in the future? Is there any, is there still stuff on your wish list that you want to Absolutely. create and make? Absolutely. I mean, the Speedster project was uh, in the top drawer of my desk since the 996 second generation. That's like uh, 15 years or more ago but we couldn't find a production slot, but the idea was always there to make a real speedster. And um, yeah, we finally we made a decision for the 70th birthday, and um, so there's a lot of other things that I would like to do. So uh, we have a lot less time and less uh, people, but uh, then, then we have ideas. So we are very creative, and funny thing is all these ideas mostly uh, 
you get when you are in the woods bicycling, dirt biking, sitting at home somewhere, seldom we rarely in the company. Yeah? So, um, but uh, there's at least two or three other things I can't talk about at the moment, but um, stay tuned. So we uh, will go on with exciting cars in the future. And I know that you've just taken this up the hill. How was it to drive up there? Um, it was interesting because this car was uh, not, uh, it has 50 kilometers on the clock and we didn't test it on any track before. So uh, we did, I, I didn't know what was, uh, what was, uh, what was uh, looming ahead. So in, 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 with his tires and this 21 inch in the front and the back, there was no thorough testing on that, to be perfectly frank. But uh, it holds up pretty well and um, Mikkel Indyer's tires did a good job. And um, yeah, we didn't drive it. It was kind of a risk, but it's a GT car. I mean, it's a GT3 engine or 911R engine. It's all test and proven components. So that should go wrong. And the rest is up to the driver and it's my job. So, but I'm happy. It was fun. Lovely stuff. Do we like the look of it? Yes, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Andreas Preninger and the 911 Speedster, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. You're welcome. It's fun.